guys and welcome to my channel. So uh, a few people have asked me to do this and it's something I have wanted to do as well um, and that is to show you how I used to memory plan or memory keep uh, and how I do it now and it's drastically different. So right here I am showing you a flip through of my very first memory planner or memory keeping book or scrapbook or whatever you want to call it. Um, this was my first one you can already see that I was having a tough time keeping up with it. <laughs> There's a lot of blank pages because I bought this. So if it's not obvious, it's by the Happy Planner and it was a happy memory keeping book and it came and it was for, you know, 12 months and, it's, and it started with January and went all the way to December. Um, and it was undated, but it was seasonal. So it was kind of obvious that it was supposed to start in January and end in December. Although it was undated, so technically didn't have to be that way. You'll see here that I did, um, I really like how I put my cards in here and held onto my cards. I used to keep all my like birthday cards and Christmas cards and things in a drawer. Um, or in like a little storage box from Michael's, you know. But I really like to have them in my book here. Some weeks, you know, I had some good stuff and I... I kind of filled up my spread, but most weeks I was just struggling. Um, being someone who works full time, you know, most of the time I just don't have enough to put in there. I just, I really don't. So I was feeling, you know, I was really enjoying memory keeping, but I was feeling really overwhelmed. I was like, how am I going to keep up with this for the entire year? And I mean, I, I didn't, I just didn't. <laughs> and I would write in like, You'll see in some of the boxes I wrote in like, oh, you need to put this picture here. And I just never did it because to me it was like, okay, if I don't fill up the whole spread, it's just not worth doing. And then I got overwhelmed and I just quit. So pretty much the only times I filled out an entire spread were when we, you know, went to an event. Like when we went to MAGFest, you see, I did really well in January. Um, I had to go back and do that though, because I didn't actually get this book until I want to say like April or something. Uh, so I just went back and tried to backtrack. Now here I did really well. I filled up the entire spread because I, me and my mom went to Virginia to see her parents, my grandparents. And, you know, so we were traveling and that made it um, pretty easy to, you know, have enough pictures and things. And then my husband and I went to Florida to see our family down there. And this is like my favorite spread I've ever done. It was just such a happy time. Um, it's gonna make me cry because, you know, I really miss my family and with quarantine right now, I don't know the next time I'm gonna be able to see them. So, uh, looking back at things like this just really makes me happy, um, makes me feel a lot better and has me, you know, looking forward to when all this is over and I can travel again. I'm getting on a plane and I'm, I'm going. <laughs> Starting to go a little crazy here. Um, but I just love looking back at the pictures and the memories that I wrote in. Um, and then after that, you'll see, I, mean, I did pretty good there. I, I was trying to keep up. And in the summer, I feel like there was a lot more going on, I guess. I was really, you know, trying to keep up with it. And then I was struggling a little bit. There's a lot of blank boxes. So, I mean, again, I was just really, I was trying and I, I'm happy with the memories that I did, you know, document in here. But it, I just didn't have enough content to fill up every single week. And I was just, I don't know. I was kind of trying to, at this point, reassess and reevaluate. Like, okay, how can I do this in the future without, you know, making it this way? Like, without having blank pages, without feeling overwhelmed. Because if something is making me feel overwhelmed that I don't have to do, why am I going to do it? This is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. I love that page right there. Um, it's not supposed to be a source of stress. So I was really just kind of uh, looking to other people on Instagram, kind of seeing what they did. And I did get a lot of inspiration, but, um, and I, you know, I did okay, but I was still kind of struggling with finding what works for me. This spread, I, I pretty much filled out the whole thing. Pretty proud of that. Uh, <laughs> and then it was my mom's 50th birthday. So that was a huge thing. So we had some you know, pictures and things to put in there. So I really enjoyed um, doing that and printing those photos. And to print the photos, um, 
most of the time I used um, I used my Polaroid uh, what's it called my Polaroid zip printer and I got that for my birthday a couple years ago for my mama and I really enjoy it the quality I know a lot of people say the quality is terrible oh my god I love that monthly look at that um, <laughs> a lot of people say that the quality is terrible Okay, it's not the greatest, but for the price of the ink and the convenience of it, it's just, I mean, you just can't, you can't go wrong. Um, sometimes I do get my photos printed at Walgreens or CVS, and um, for that I'll just, you know, put like four to a page of like a little four by six and cut them out. I do have the punch to make them fit perfectly in the boxes, which are, you know, size for the big Happy Planner. That's another thing. A lot of people use just a big happy planner. So they'll get one like cheap, you know, on clearance or something. Um, particularly an undated one is, is ideal and use that as a memory planner. Some people use a classic or a mini. Um, and that's the cool thing about it is that it doesn't have to be a memory keeping book, which I haven't seen them come out with any new ones. So I'm thinking maybe they didn't sell very well or um, people were just using regular planners to do it. But I did really love the dividers and the themes in here. I just, it was really pretty and a really cool concept for me. And you can see, um, I kind of stopped using it. December, I decorated the monthly like way ahead of time when I was in the Christmas spirit. And then I never used it, <laughs> which sucks. And I swear I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to actually, you know, take pictures at Christmas time and print them out. Um, and so you'll see that's the end there. I just kind of stopped using it. Not proud of that. Um, but that was just kind of my introduction to it. I've never really tried like scrapbooking at all. And this was kind of a, a way for me to um, kind of start doing that. So this is my current uh, happy memory keeping book. And you'll see I have this divided into um, sections. So this first section here I, I put um, journal on the, the tab and these are journaling prompts specifically not just random journaling and so for me um, what I find easiest is to just go online and Google journaling prompts and there's always you know really interesting things you know like what's your favorite weather and why what are the five best memories from your life and it really just kind of gets you thinking and I've really enjoyed that and then here I have 2019 memories. Now here's what I do. So instead of having like a planner and having it be every single week, I just memory keep when I want to, when I have something significant happen. So what I did was I pulled the pages out of the old memory keeping book, used some of those, um, which you'll see in a minute. Right now, this is just cardstock that I actually bought. It's by um, Mambi or the Happy Planner. And I just use that. And here I have my 2020 memories, which I barely have anything in it. I literally have one page from when MCR got back together. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it. I just ordered some paper uh, to print more photos, but it's obviously going to take a while to get here with everything going on. So you'll see here my last section is just the blank pages. So these are prompts from the original Happy Memory Keeping book that I never used, which I love. I hope they come out with more of those prompt, let those like layouts like that. I love them. The happy birthday, the vacation one, uh, the best day. Like, they're just so cute. 30 days of gratitude. And you could obviously, I mean, there's free printables everywhere. There's printables on Etsy. Um, and then those are just the card stocks that I got by the Happy Planner that I bought. They were with the Happy Memory Keeping stuff. There was two different books. One was like pastels and one was like brights or whatever. And I just have those there for when I want to use them. So I'll just pull one out and, and plop it right in there whenever something significant happens. Right now, I obviously am way behind. 2020 has not been what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so I haven't had a lot of, you know, things to memory keep. But as soon as my um, photo paper gets here, I'm going to go back through and look what I, um, look at the photos that I've taken over the past, you know, four months and see what I need to print. And that's the cool thing is I can always just go back and do it, but I don't feel overwhelmed. Because I don't have to feel like, oh my god, I have to fill something out every single week. 
And so that's pretty much it. That's how I used to memory plan and how I do it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. Maybe this inspired you to start memory keeping in some way. Um, if you have any ideas or tips or anything, please leave a comment down below. And I would love to see um, how you memory keep. So, you know, follow me on Instagram at Planning with Cass and, you know, tag me in your photos. I would love to see how you memory keep. So stay safe. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!